Hello friends, in this video I will show you how you can switch or toggle between an advanced calculator and a basic calculator. So basically I will show you how you can make certain buttons appear and disappear uh, in, the, in your calculator which you design in your MATLAB app designer as per your wish. So for that I will take this example which I created in uh, my previous uh, uh, video the link for which is above please refer to that one. So I will just start with this uh, uh, one. So I open it in app designer and so if you remember uh, and if you have seen my previous video then you will see how we have designed the this this layout. So this layout is for a basic uh, calculator. So before we do anything, let's first run it and see if it's still working. So we just uh, 23 plus 6 equal to 29. Yeah, bingo, it works. So yeah, this is just I wanted to show you. So now let's convert this our calculator into an advanced calculator and add certain functionality like sine and cosine. So I will go ahead and modify this. So for that I'll need two more buttons. I'll just put uh, this is for probably sine, this is for my cosine, and I will need one button uh, which I will put it on top here. You can choose the location yourself. And by default, it will be clicked to basic, and uh, and we can we will toggle this. We'll see in the code how we'll do it. This button name I'll keep it as sine, and this button name I'll keep it as cosine. Yes. So basically let's add the <coughs> functionality for this button. So we'll add a callback. So in this callback, we'll do nothing very great, but the only thing which we'll do is we'll just toggle between basic and uh, advanced. So when the basic is there, we'll just show the basic functions. When the advanced uh, calculator is there, we'll show uh, sine and cosine as well. So we'll use the switch concept and in switch we'll use <coughs> We'll read what is the text in this button. So we'll uh, play with the condition of the text on this basic button. So we'll uh, take this app dot basic button dot and we have to read the text over here. So we'll just put text. Yes. And in the case, so we will have basically two case here. One is the basic which is our uh, basic uh, calculator. So in, if it's basic, so in that case, uh, what we have to do is say for example, uh, instead of uh, basic and a person click on this button. So the first thing you should do is you should change the text of this button from basic to advanced. So that is the first thing which we will do. Text equal to advanced. And the other things which we will have to do is uh, we have to hide the sine and cosine uh, buttons. So sine and cosine buttons are here. We have to just uh, use this. So app dot sine button dot. There is a property called visibility. So or visible. So even you can just click on this button and scroll down, and you will see. I think in the interactive session, this. So we will be playing with this property, and if you see the values of this is on and off. So we will make it off in our case if, if it's a basic uh, calculator. So we'll make it off. We'll make it, and we'll do the same for the cosine button. We'll make this visibility off here as well. Yeah. Now, if the case is say for example advanced, please make sure that spelling is correct and the same. Otherwise, you will uh, end up in problem. I can just copy paste this because I didn't need not to repeat the typing. And Control V. And I will just end it. Yeah. And if it's advanced, then toggle it back to basic and uh, switch it on. Oh, perfect. So before I proceed, let's let me first quickly run and see. Yeah. So. Our default layout has changed now. We get these two new buttons and basic. So when we click this, you, you, you saw those buttons have disappeared. And instead of basic, now it's advanced. So we can just toggle between these two and we can play with this. Now let's also quickly in this video add the functionality of sine and cosine. It's pretty simple. So let's do that as well. 
so first let me go to the sign button and right click and then we will add a callback for sign as well so in sign button what we'll do is whatever the value which is being displayed in the text area we'll just convert that into the sign uh, we'll use the sign uh, operation so we need that app dot text area and value so what we'll do is app dot text area dot uh, value and we will uh, assign it a value but please note in this value we need a text format and sign we will by default give a string so we have to use the string uh, new number to string conversion uh, function and then inside this we can use our uh, sign uh, sign operation and in the sign operation again we have to read the value which is there in the text area but again that value when you read say for example you are reading from uh, the uh, text area dot value this will be in the form of string so we may we will have to uh, first of all we have to read the uh, first value out of this and we will have to change it from yes I will come back here we will change it from string to number so either you can use string to double or string to number and I think the recommended function from mathfox is string to double so we will use string to double here and that's it so this is our for sign and similarly we will do it for cosine just the thing will, ch will change is uh, instead of sign we will have to use the sign uh, function so we will just quickly add that as well add push button callback and here it is I will just copy paste the same thing control C control V and instead of sign I will just use cosine mm -hmm. so yes cos ok so this is fine and now let me run and see what happens so we anyway check the toggle option this is working fine so let's uh, now use our cosine wow cosine of 6 is this and probably I think it's taking the red in format and if I do a sign yeah see it's working so uh, of course you can verify the values so uh, yeah uh, so you can verify the values but uh, I'm, I'm not sure but uh, yeah, if we can clear it and then use some other values for example 62 cosine yeah so bingo so it's working fine our sign on cosine so I just quickly wanted to show you how you can uh, toggle between the buttons make them uh, appear and disappear and uh, and yeah and you can uh, uh, make it more advanced with lots of other functions and operations what you want for your uh, desired work and this is a simple approach where you can play with the visible and enable all these uh, flags of the buttons uh, and you can you can uh, just modify your UI on the go as per the user okay I hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions please put it in the comment section and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and have a nice day